classic Big East battle. Georgetown, St. John's. Princeton offense. What does that mean, the Princeton offense? Just, that's what it means right there. PD down in Princeton. Kareel, that is. Skip pass. Mosley puts it on the deck, gets to the hole. Five Hayes for the punch. How about that? Hayes sealed off. Mosley right on the money. Bonds for three. And wow. hits. He's amazing. He knows that get the ref's attention deal. Uh, not buying it. Cameron, Mosley, Pryor, drive. Back. Oh. Woo -hoo. Whoa. How about that? Showing a little more to his game. Rossi Pryor. Federico can talk about that back at home. Red Storm can level it here. A man. Inside. Back. And you don't get back and recognize, identify, and Ahmed, whew, up big time, but they're going really fine. That's the Hall of Famer right there, former Georgetown legend, Philadelphia 76er legend, Allen Iverson. LeVette. Rebound, Ahmed, across the lane, hard, the kick, extra pass, LeVette again. Oh, oh the foul down by Pons. Who is that guy? From the top to the 10. Now you play that zone, you're going to give up opportunities at the rim. Peak, meanwhile. Oh, intentional. Oh, intentional. And a little pushing and shoving going on. Chris Mullen. And now John Thompson, the third, with some words. Whoa! Boy, is this like This the reminds old... you of the old days. Wow, we're going back in time. Chris Mullen in front of the Georgetown bench. Oh, oh, it in. Owens with the jam on the inbound. What a great setup from the timeout. C. Mullen. Pryor thought about it, backs it up. He's dancing. Tough shot. Oh, oh and he hit it. <laughs> wow. Fully extended. A little kiss. Derrickson, Peak. Govan, here's Peak. He'll take the final shot. Blocked, loose, up, no good. And St. John survives. Will take us through that final defensive possession. Yeah, we stuck with the guys who were in the game. You know, we did a good job just defending the ball. You know, we've had some trouble putting up resistance against those strong guys, but we got it out, got to stop when we needed it. This felt like, it looked like, one of the games that you played against in Georgetown, kind of the old school Georgetown St. John's games. What was the intensity like out there for you? I thought it was great. Old Big East, I love it. Explain the exchange, the heated exchange that took place with about eight minutes to go in the second half. I mean, if you're comparing 85, it was the air conditioner was on, not much heat. It was just a hard play. Both teams really into it. We got tremendous respect for Georgetown. They're a great team, well coached, class team, just competition. You've been dealing with a young team all season long, and now this young team has a tournament win in many, many years. That hasn't happened for St. John's. What does that mean right now? That's more important. And anything I can teach them, anything I can tell them, is them going out and proving to themselves. So it's a huge win for my guys. I'm happy for them. All right. Thank you for the time. What was the intensity like out there? Uh, it was very intense. You know, it was a hard fought game. Obviously, you know, this has been a long rivalry for, for over 40 years. So, you know, coach just wanted us to get this win, and we went out there and got it. You hadn't scored in double figures since the end of January. So what was different for you tonight? Um, you know, just being in attack mode and just letting the game come to me and just making sure I, I do it on the defensive end and offensive, you know, everything on offense will come to me. This team is so young. How have you guys grown up from the beginning of the year to now? Um, tremendously, you know. Uh, obviously, we have very young guys on this team. We got a lot of sophomores, and, you know, we got a lot of freshmen that play big minutes. So, you know, uh, we just came together as a unit in the middle of the year, and we just say, yo, you know, if we come together and play as a family, we can go out there and win games. What was important for you to try to take away with a hot prior and a hot peak, and especially in that last possession that Georgetown had? Oh, man, both of those guys, you know, they're great players. Uh, you know, they can get downhill whenever they want. They're great shooters. So, you know, it was, it was obviously a hard, it was hard guarding them, but, you know, we came together as a team, as one unit, and uh, we got the stop at the end. All right, thank you for the time. Thank you. Rob, it was like a good old-fashioned matchup.
Uh, and then a little, Lisa, thank you. We continue our conversation with St. John's uh, Big East all freshman player Shamori Pons joins us right now. St. John's they move on to the quarterfinals. You guys are next in action tomorrow 11:30 a.m. Eastern versus the number two team in the land Villanova. We'll get to that later. Let's go back to the 835 mark where this game everybody got out of their seats from your view on what took place. What did you see and how did it go down on the court. Uh, I just seen the old Big East again like it's rugged physical. So I mean like we just try to stay composed. I like, just go out there and get a win. What did it do for you and for your club at that point? I moment? mean, it built our confidence up and it got us going. Like, it woke us up. Yeah, down the stretch, uh, you have that ability you've shown it all year long to play make and shot make in crunch time. Uh, what is it in terms of your development as a basketball player that leads to you seizing those moments to take over games? Uh, I mean, I just have a lot of confidence in myself. I work in the gym, so all the shots I take in the game, I, I, do, I do in the gym. Yeah, and the nickname Slick. Fill us in on that. Let our audiences know I what mean, it's about. Uh, my uncle gave it to me, and it stuck with me from, from high school to college. And it was based on your game? <laughs> I think smooth? so. All right. That's what I would guess. Listen, every, everyone talks about how special you are as a freshman. But you've led this team most of this season saying, listen, I know I'm a freshman. That, that's just a, a letter by my name. How have you done the job of leading them and saying, listen, I don't care if I'm a freshman. This is just basketball. I mean, I'm like myself. I'm not like a vocal leader, but like I just lead by example. So like when like when you like have game, like people tend to follow you. So I just like led by example. See that when you have game, Rob, people follow you. Uh, Shamori's got game. You got to find, game you high. find some game. He had a game high 17 for St. John's. You guys were held scoreless in the final three minutes, but able to get that victory. I just want to go back to the, the incident again. Have you ever seen Coach Mullen that invested and passionate in a moment during a game? Uh, I don't, I, he was just fired up. He said he, he said he said he wasn't like he didn't even know what happened. He just said he wanted to just get the crowd going. You get to enjoy this for a couple hours, obviously get a meal, get some rest, rehydrate, get up tomorrow morning and get ready for Villanova. What's going to be most important going into that game for you to have success? You're going to have the home crowd tomorrow rooting for you. I think we just going to have to play smart. The national champion, so like you, you got to limit like a lot of mistakes on them because they're good and they convert on turnovers, fast breaks, a lot of stuff. Did you feel a different vibe in the garden yes. tonight? Yes, like they're not our home games and this is like it was it was it, it can't compare like this is better. Fantastic. Rob, you got to find some game Rob when you have game they follow you. I, I never had game so I don't know what it's like. I'm gonna take, I'll take your guys word for it. Shamori Bond. Congratulations. We will see you bright and early my friend.